In this tutorial, we will learn about hatch and gradient command. Keyboard shortcut for hatch is H, enter. Then select the pattern from here, which pattern you want. There are different types of patterns are available. I will choose NC31. Then pick the point where you want to place the hatch. If you want to increase the gap between these lines, here is the hatch scale, hatch pattern scale. Click there and increase the scale. If you increase the scale, the gap will increase. If you reduce the scale, gap will reduce. If you want to change the angle of these lines, then from here you can change the angle. Now current inclined angle is considered at zero. If you want to apply the opposite angle, then you will have to give 90 degree enter. Then it will make the hatch opposite to previous hatch. Then click on close hatch creation to create the hatch. If you want to edit the hatch, click on the hatch. Hatch editor will come back. From here you can change the hatch pattern. Then you can from here you can apply the color. If you want some color for the hatching. You can also apply background color from here. If you want some background color, then you can also make the hatch transparent. You can increase the transparency of hatch. If you increase the transparency, it will become the transparent. Then click on close hatch editor. Right now, these both hatch are same. Suppose I want to separate these hatch, then click here on options and select separate hatches. Now both the hatches are separate. If I now click this hatch, I can edit it separately and change the type of hatch and change the scale. In this way you can separate the hatches. We will create one more hatch. Then if you want to give hatch command from ribbon, here is the hatch command. Click there. Then if I apply hatch here and if I make it associative and close hatch creation. If the hatch is associative, if your shape changes, the hatch will update automatically. That is the use of associative. If you make it non-associative, if again I will click on this hatch and remove this associative and close the hatch editor. And if now I try to change the boundary, it will not change the hatch again hatch suppose i click here now here hatch is applied in only in the outer face if you want to apply it in inside also then from here you can choose the options click here and if you choose the normal island then it will apply hatch in alternative areas and if you select outer island then it will hatch only in the outer space and if you choose ignore island then it will hatch on complete area we will create some more hatches again hatch then choose the pattern suppose i want this gravel pattern then select and apply and if you make it annotative and I make it separate also. Create separate hatches. Close hatch creation and I will change this hatch pattern. I will make it honey. Close hatch creation. Now these hatches are annotative. That means you can control their scale from here. If I change the scale, their scale will change from outside, from annotative scale. If you want to match the pattern of two hatches, click on the hatch where you want to change the hatch. Then click on this match properties and select the other hatch. So it will transfer the property to other hatch using this match properties. You can also change the origin of the hatch. If I select this hatch and I click on this set origin and suppose I give this different origin. So as per that your hatch will shift set origin. If I change the origin, the your placement of your hatch will change as per that. So using this set origin, you, you can arrange the hatch as per your requirement. If we try on this, 
set origin and we will give this endpoint so as per that your hatch will be placed and if you want to hatch with solid color single color then from here select solid and from here choose the color you want in this way you can apply single color also to the hatch if you want to give two color mixing effect then from here you can choose the gradient click inside the area where you want to apply the gradient hatch then from here you can choose the effect of the gradient or the type of gradient you want to apply then from here you can change the colors for the gradient hatch then click on close as creation if you want to bring this gradient hatch ahead of this line hatch then from here you can bring it to the front click here and click on this bring to front and select the gradient hatch and enter so it will come on the front and if you want to send it back then from here you can send it back also send it back select the gradient hatch enter in this way you can send one hatch behind the other or you can bring it on the front and if you have open boundary suppose I have some shape now here the boundary is not close if you still want to create the hatch click on hatch click inside now here it is giving the error a close boundary could not be determined click on this close and click on this option and here increase the gap tolerance take the gap tolerance more than this gap suppose I take it to enter and if I now click inside it will give other message the boundary is not close what do you want to do continue hatching this area click on this and click on close as creation that's all thanks for watching we will stop here